Hello, hi. Oh, who ain't got no earrings in? Girl, what in the hell is happening? Wait a second. Oh, I'm glad I'm going back home. Oh, no, ma'am. Where is my black history? Earrings and I just bought two pairs. You know what, water bottle? I ain't got time for your shit this morning. Um, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi. Hi, guys, hi. Um, I'm not a morning person. Let's just be clear. It's 9.55 a.m. So what had happened was, um, I'm supposed to be at work. I'm supposed to be at work, but I had to stop by where Christian was to grab something. And I would have been at work by 10, but I left my meds at home. Eh, got to turn around. Got to whip it around. Got to whip it around because I can't be out in general public with no meds. It, it just don't work like that. Uh, my job, no. And they don't want that either. So, definitely had to go back home and get the meds. So, now we're driving back home to get the meds. Um, and I was like, girl, why not vlog? Because you got to hurry up and get these things, get these things out. It's still Black History Month. <laughs> Power to the people. So, that's still happening. Um, my event is still Sunday. Okay? It is Monday the 21st. My event is Sunday the 27th. So, if you ain't got your tickets, I ain't your friend no more. Period. Don't, don't. If you ain't got your tickets, don't talk to me in the comments. Period. I'm done. I'm ignoring you in the comments don't talk to me i don't want to be your friend no more if you ain't got your tickets like i'm i'm just not gonna say nothing i'm gonna love your comment and then i'm gonna leave you alone like i'm not gonna say nothing back i'm that petty speaking of petty i want to talk about dating but if y'all expect me to get on here and give y'all some dating advice you on the wrong channel because because <laughs> i don't date Okay, I don't date. Like, I got a whole series on love and relationships and all that from, from back in the day when I was doing motivation with me. And that was advice from a single person. Um, I had been single for like six years, I think. Shit, I don't even know. When did I meet Rodney? Six, seven. I met Rodney in 2020. And I hadn't had a boyfriend since 2013. So, what's that? Seven, by seven years. By six, seven years. Something like that. Something like that. I'm going on seven um so that was that was advice from a single person that hadn't dated i was single that long but i'm also celibate of damn how many years has been i think six i just celebrated year six i think in february you lose count after a while you lose count after a while in your mind all you know is you're not having sex so it's no need to count the years you just you're not fucking so I only got 18 minutes left. How that happened? I got to delete some space. Damn. I always got to delete some space. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't shit. Um, but, yeah. So, I ain't got no dating advice for y'all whatsoever. That ain't really my thing. Never was my thing. Um, I, which brings me to my point of the video. Okay, let's talk about me first. I'm not a dating person. I never dated. I was a hoe. And then I wasn't a hoe. <laughs> like, that, 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 I was a hoe for, like, from 14 to, like, 18, maybe? When I got in college, I was in two relationships. I was a relationship hoe because I was either a hoe or I was in a relationship. It wasn't, like, no dating type situation but that was back then you know i'm safe sanctified and all that now i just cuss a lot but um i ain't never been through like the actual dating phase because i had little relationships in high school and two in college and you know when you in college and i went to sam houston we was in huntsville when you in college you ain't really just dating like y'all chilling at the kickbacks like y'all ain't going out on dates for real I didn't, and I was never taught what dating was. I was never taught about sex and relationships. Like, my aunt tried to teach me a little bit, but for the most part, I ain't know what the fuck I was doing. All I know is I was fucking a lot. That's all I knew. <laughs> That's it. That's all I knew. And abuse, sadly. Like, I didn't really know much of nothing about no dating and all that. I was more of a finesse. Like, I would literally just finesse men into getting me what I wanted. Like, it wasn't no dating involved in that situation. So, unfortunately, that has grew with me into adulthood. 
because while I was single seven years, I was dating a little bit, but because I'm so busy, I don't have time. Like, I legit, first of all, let's get something straight. I'm an asshole. Like, I'm talking to a guy right now. <laughs> yes, I just said it. Okay, shit. I said it. Which y'all y'all gonna go snitch on Rodney? He already he, Rodney know he know what's up. Shit, we talk about this all the time. He probably got him a hoe too too. But I'm talking to. <laughs> I'll be having the weirdest relationships with my exes. I don't know. It's, we just be cool like that. Um, I was I'm talking to a guy, and when I say talking, I literally mean it's a matter of text messages. But I'm gonna use him as an example because it's a perfect example, right? Let's get some straight first. I just got a relationship. Bad timing. No sir, not happening. My ex ain't even all the way out my life. I, and the other one, my best friend. So at this point, we already at a loss. Um, no, that's not, that's, I'm not feeling it. Um, I don't have time. I'm really busy. And when the person was introduced to me, because there's only one way you're going to get to me. And that's through somebody else. And that somebody else has to be somebody that I'm close to. If it's not somebody I'm close to, you might as well not even, don't even try it. I don't do DMs. I don't do dating apps no more. Rodney was the last for that. I damn sure ain't finna do one now because I don't fucking like them. Only reason why I ended up talking to Rodney is because um, we was on quarantine and it was COVID and I was bored and shit. <laughs> like, I ain't had nothing to do. I was so bored. And he wasn't here. He was driving or whatever. So it was literally just a matter of I'm just sitting there texting because I ain't got shit to do at all. Ain't none of us had shit to do. We were just sitting. So it wasn't, fuck else we gonna do. Um, that's how the dating apps got downloaded in the first goddamn place. So, in comes another guy that I met through somebody else because the DMs and the, I can't, I don't have the patience. Like, if you ask this man right now that I've been talking to, and them humps and bumps my water's moving all over the place. He will tell you, like, I'm an asshole. Like, I say, y'all know me. First of all, I don't even have to explain myself. <laughs> I don't even have to explain myself. Because, hold on, he keeps speaking up. Um, Y'all, how I act on here, and I just say, what the fuck come to my head? Like, I do that in real life. Like, I'm for real like that. So, I'm like that with dudes. Like, I'm not like a, oh my God, hi. <laughs> My name is Miranda, and I have, like, all these businesses in a nonprofit and blah, blah, blah. I'm an asshole, bro. You ask me a question, I'm going to answer it in a fucked up way, depending on what it is. Okay? Depending on what it is. I I don't know. I think I told him his best friend was fat and ugly or some shit like that. But it was a reason behind it. Anyway, whatever he asked, I automatically got a smart-ass response. And it's not, like, intentional. It's just who I am as a person. So, I say that to say, but I'm also too busy to talk to you. And I don't mean it in a fucking rude way. I'm just the type of motherfucker that ain't gonna text you back. But I'm like that with everybody. I text horrible. So, my communication is shit. But at the same time, I'm busy. So, what I don't like, and what I want to explain to y'all, or say to y'all, to all my busy people that's out there, I don't know what this bow is doing, but it's bothering the shit out of me. Do it come apart? Do it come loose. Jesus. What I want to say to y'all out there is um ladies, if you a busy person, I think I'm unnaturally busy, but if you a busy person and the dude don't understand that you busy, and this is vice versa, because it's not always just women, then it's a red flag for me. It's a red flag for me because you you don't if you don't understand now you ain't gonna understand later that's why me and rodney fit so so well is because he was just as busy as i was like he was a truck driver so he was never here like literally i legit promise y'all my therapist straight up told me that's a good guy for you because he's never there like i need my space i don't <laughs> i need my space okay he his job was driving away from Houston for a while so I could take a break because I'm a busy person. And when he comes back, and I'm using him as an example because it's the best way I can explain this shit, but whatever. So when he comes back, he's still busy or he's resting. He's not bothering me. 
He's not bothering me. So I don't... And then with us, we didn't have the dating phase. That was the fuck up. That was the mistake. Have the dating phase. I will never do that shit again. I will never do that shit again. I don't date, but I will because I know it's necessary in order to be in a productive relationship. I'm never making that mistake again. I will never get with somebody that I didn't date them first. It's not happening. Normally, that ain't even like me, but it's not happening. That We both know that was a fail, and that's like the number one reason why we ain't together now. And we had to learn each other the hard way. But it's another video on that. Y'all can go watch it from back in, back in the gap that we did together. Um, so I'm not saying don't date. That ain't what I'm saying. Definitely date. Because you don't want to be with nobody you ain't dated. But I'm just saying if you busy and somebody doesn't understand. Or fellas, if you busy and the woman doesn't understand. Then that ain't, that, it ain't going to work. Because... If they don't understand now, they're not going to understand later. Now, on the flip side of that, people make time for what they want to make time for. If that person want to make time for you, then the time is going to be made. But what you're not going to do is pressure me. Like the guy asked when we would, like, when, when do I have time to see him or go out or whatever? I said March. <laughs> did i was like i march like because february's booked bro like i'm sorry i got an event i got a game i'm trying to work like february is done for i told my mama that i told my mama i said mama i can't do nothing in february like hit me up in march we can go to lunch i got a pill so you in i'm sorry i just i got priorities it's other shit that just come ahead of a lot of other things and my mama know that my mama my mama know that First of all, TTM come for anybody. That's my child. And then I got to go to work. That's my money. Then my business has got to be handled. That's my money. It's tax season out here. That means the sis is busy. So, I didn't mean it in a rude way, but I'm just letting you know. But if you don't understand that, this ain't going to work. Because that's not the first and last time that's going to happen. I mean, that's not the last time that's going to happen. So, you got to be... You got to be prepared. Now, on the other side, <clears throat> you have, like with me, I'm busy, but again, it's bad timing because, and I've had this conversation, I'm not in the position right now. You already know everything that just unraveled in my life. I'm not in the position right now like I said this person was introduced to me by somebody I'm close to so therefore it's like all right I'm gonna do it but I don't want to do it <laughs> I hope be on watch my channel but then again fuck it I'd say it to his face um so it's like I it's just not a good time and for y'all if it's not a good time in your life today say that just say that now whether they back up or back off or not that's on them but just be honest like just go and say that it's okay it's cool you ain't got to do it you don't have to be with somebody all the time take some time to yourself you ain't gotta take seven years though because that's a little long and then on top of that people have to realize i'm celibate hmm. so with that being said, I got to run the house and get my medicine real quick. I'll be right back. Ah, y'all yeah, thought I was going to finish. Psych. Hold on. I ain't never had shit, but I could fuck a bad bitch. Quicker than you can count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. She hit. Okay, I'm back. I had to put some earrings on, child. Yep, there we go. I'm just taking my pole of sweet time getting to work. Like, I'm not forever late. Oh, child, I had to put some earrings in. I bought these from the African American Museum, y'all. God is good all the time. But uh, back to what I was saying. I'm celibate. So for me, the dating pool is highly limited. Because a man, come on, buddy. A man has to literally change his whole lifestyle to be with me. And that's one thing I always have and will respect about Rodney is that he was able to do that. Like, in a matter of, oh, I just need 24 hours to decide. 
first of all, he already knew because when I do day naps, baby, it say it on there. Because I don't want you coming at me trying to get some sex because you ain't going to get now. So he already knew going into it anyway. And he talked about that. We talked about that on our video. So if y'all want to hear that story, y'all can go to that video uh, back in the arsenal of dating online and how we met. And you can see our big ass picture on there. So it ain't hard to miss. But <clears throat> the dating pool for me is very limited. And if I feel the sense of you're not going to be able to handle my celibacy, then there's no point in us even doing that. Like, we might as well just be friends. That's how I stay single for seven years. Because I always tell people, the hard part about celibacy isn't not having sex. It's the fact that it takes... Baby, would you go... God damn, you look at my horn wasn't wasn't horning. Um, it's the the fact that you know you you have to find somebody to accept it. That's the hard part. Like it makes dating very complicated because it doesn't make sense to date somebody. Because when you date, I don't know how everybody else feel about this, but I feel like if I'm dating you, then there has to be some potential there for us to eventually grow. Because if not, then what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Besides wasting time that I don't have time to waste. So, if I feel you're not going to accept that, then at this point, we might as well just be friends. Because I got a lot of male friends. I used to joke about it all the time. I get friend zoned all the time. And I have no problem with that. <laughs> like, when you become celibate, it's a certain mindset you have. I'm going to make that another video. That's going to be another video. I got a video on celibacy already, but I'm going to give a new one since it's been like 3 million years since I last did that one. So, and I do have a video on celibacy and relationships. I couldn't get Rodney to redo that one with me because him and the camera, yeah, they don't like each other like that. But um, it makes the dating pool smaller. So <clears throat> that's kind of like a mix of my little small dating situation or whatever situations, past, present, future, whatever. But I, I want to talk about standards. But, I'm going to do that as a part two. Hmm? Huh? Let me tell you why. Because y'all attention span ain't that long. And if I talk about standards, that's going to be a 45 minute long video that y'all ain't going to watch all the way through. And I ain't got time to be playing with y'all games. Because y'all know I can see the analytics. I know how long y'all attention span is. And it ain't that long. Okay? And uh, more videos means more money. More hours. I need those. I need all that all of that and it's gonna take me about 20 minutes to get to work so therefore we're gonna talk about standards and this whole notion of standards in the next video don't worry y'all ain't gotta wait that, that long for it i'll probably drop it the next day calm your panties okay it's happening let this one sit in for a minute and then that one's coming you driving slow as the fuck so until that video and in that video i will see y'all there. Bye.